this project has me worn out. I need an extra pair of hands for this one. I was trying to use what I already had and I had a roll of chicken wire, but it's not long enough. So I'm going to have to acquire something else, probably a 20 gauge wire, single wire um, to use with the U-Post. I did have to purchase the U-Post, I knew I would. So this is going to have to wait until maybe tomorrow, but this project of getting the orchard together is not coming together how I would like. So back to the drawing board and I'll see you in the next clip.
Full transparency time. The orchard area looks a mess because I don't have the strength to do all that's required. All the putting the poles in the ground, stretching this 20 gauge wire is more than I can physically do. And it's okay because I will get help, but I wanted to get it part of the way done so it's actually help when someone comes to help. Um, it's not them doing it. And that's the difference between help and someone doing it is that you actually put in the effort. And I have put in the effort. I have dug a few holes. There are a lot of stones in the ground. You did see one part where I did dig, I did show you me digging out a stone. I did have that little hand auger. I've had it for years. It's my first time actually using it. But this is what my orchard area looks like right now. And I'm hoping that um, it will get completed soon. But again, lots to do. People are busy and um, working long hours and unable to get the help that I need to complete it. But at least I have it part of the way. So this is where I'm gonna stop. I'm going to move the trees uh, back a little bit more so that I have more room in the walking path area. I did have to move the windmill from this area here to back in that corner and that's fine. Um, I will move the windmill again once the shed has been erected because I want to be able to see the windmill and all this mass of mess that you see right here is where the shed is going to be minus the project that I'm working on down there you all will see that uh, in the next couple of videos but this area here is where the shed is going to be and once the shed is up I won't be able to see my windmill so I will be moving that forward it's probably going to go uh, right in this area here I'll be moving the hanging flowers and placing them as well as the bunny in a new flower garden that I am going to be creating. When I start that project, I will take you all along. You all should have already seen the project of me putting together these tire planters. Uh, they will stay, but I will be putting the windmill right here and probably adding more in this area. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be food or flowers. It might be both but I will be removing everything in the center here, the, the hanging hook, the two plants, and the bunny. So the windmill is going to live here. I just decided to put it in the back for right now, just to move it so that I could try to get this up. But that is it for me this evening, guys. I'm going to call it a night. I have done a tremendous amount of work. Uh, but before I do say goodnight, I want to show you all one last project that I was I know working I've been on. telling you for a number of videos that I had not secured the cattle panel. Well, we had a terrible storm two nights ago, and this part of the cattle panel, cattle panel, this whole piece here had flipped on its side. So just imagine the bottom of it there flipping and sitting facing the house, and it was laying on its side. Thank goodness it did not destroy my food. Um, don't know how that happened, but I went ahead on and I used that drill that you all saw along with the auger bit. And I hope you all can see down there. I secured the cattle panel. I am going to be taking some of that galvanized uh, wire in just a moment because I have some left and I will be tying some of those pieces in here uh, these little rope pieces was what was on these poles when i got them but i did stake them into the ground and i'll walk you to the back i had to move this one forward a little bit i had placed it too far back and so um this was a two dig project i dug that twice and that's probably another reason why i just didn't have the strength to fool with the orchard area because I did this project before I went over to the orchard area and I was pretty well tuckered out and then over here I've already moved the um, 
sweet potatoes back into this area so they could try to climb up on the cattle panel. But as you can see, I also secured this pole. So now they are all dug into the ground and I will be securing them with some galvanized um, wire in just a moment. So from my garden to yours, I hope to see you all either in the kitchen or the garden real soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.